few days ago I spoke about um, Sheikh Ahmad al Mubayyad um, having to leave Saudi Arabia and now he, uh, he has uh, spoken out and explained why he had to leave. Um, why did I leave Saudi Arabia? Saudi scholar who fled country, country speaks out. Sheikh Ahmad al Mubayyad says he had left Saudi Arabia for a safe location after concerns were raised regarding his safety after he publicly criticized recent on Islamic reforms in Saudi Arabia and advised those in power to fear Allah. In his recent video, he expressed the reasons behind leaving the country and encouraged other scholars and the preachers who want to speak out against the Saudi government to do the same. Many Islamic scholars are against the changes that have been happening in the kingdom in recent years, but the Saudi government have been detaining scholars to silence critics of MBS, says 2030 vision of liberalizing the country. Um, in the previous video, I spoke about why is it, or the wrong things that Saudi has been doing in the country, as well as what it's been doing to the scholars. And now you've seen the scholars are either being in prison, including dying in prison, um, um, through old age, many of these scholars are already old, when and when they eventually are put in prison, they're pretty old. So, um, it'd be difficult for them to, um, um, survive in prison at such an old age. That doesn't necessarily mean they were treated badly, but even still, uh, according to reports, some have died. Um, and this is showing you why people are either they're going. The scholars are in prison or they're dying in prison. Uh, they are leaving the country. Um, and this is why. Because they speak, they're doing their job and the government doesn't like it. And sadly, this is the reality in Saudi Arabia now. Um, it's getting worse and worse. And who knows in 10 years' time what it's going to look like. 10 years ago, look at what it was and look at what it is now. And in 10 years' time, who knows what it's going to look like. Um... This is what happens when you f uh, forget about religion and prioritise being modern and then you um, don't accept any criticism from the scholars because you want to continue being becoming modern while simultaneously going against the Sharia.